So here is um, my video about the Dell 32-inch 4K display. I apologize for the noise. Um, my rack is right behind it, so it's definitely decently loud. I didn't have a long enough display port cable to actually plug it in somewhere where it was uh, going to be not near my rack. Anyway, so I have it up and running right now. Um, it's running at the full refresh rate. As you can see, it's 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. And I'm doing this via basically MST, two, two links. Now, interesting enough, on Linux, I'm actually getting a little, on the bottom of the screen, I don't know if you can see that very easily, I'm actually getting a little bit of tearing between the halves. And it's, it's right at the halfway point, and then what's also weird is up at the top of the window, uh, up at the top, it doesn't do it. It only kind of does it at the bottom, um, which I found kind of odd. But that does kind of show that it's an MST mode, and odder still is that with it's only 2D stuff, 3D video stuff like that seems to have no problem at all. Um, so anyway... Um, I, with Linux, I was able to basically tell the monitor exactly what I want it to do. I know a lot of people on Windows that have been using these monitors with MST mode have been having issues with gaming and other things due to being pretty much limited to the native resolution and that's it. I see over here out of my XOR blog here, I created some meta modes on kind of how I want it to do its various modes. So basically I can do scaling over MST and use GPU scaling. So basically what I'm telling it here on that first one is that I want to run it at the full resolution, drive each half with 1920 by 2160, and that's the normal 3840 by 2160 mode. The next one, it's still going to output 1920 by 2160, but this time it's going to actually be displaying 1280 by 1440, i.e. half of 2560 by 1440, and so on and so on for... The next one being basically 1920 by 1080. And then after that, uh, you can see that I'm no longer outputting the video card on this one right here. I'm no longer outputting at 1920 by 2160. I'm actually giving a 1280 by 1440 output to the panel. So instead of using GPU scaling, I'm actually using panel scaling here. And to my surprise, it actually works. So this panel will actually scale with MST when you're actually giving it a lower resolution than 1920 by 2160 and you let the panel scale up. So also, just for comparison, I have the panel scaling in SST mode, which you can see these last three have null. So basically they're, they're only getting one output and then it's no longer MST mode. So if I test this here, I kind of have my modes up here of what I want to do. So um, if I go ahead and do 2560 by 1440, and I'm going to do the first one, which should be the refresh rates are kind of weird there because of the NVIDIA drivers because they're meta modes, but. 51 is basically the first mode, which means this will be GPU scaling and the display will be getting 3840 by 2160. So if I change it, I have a, I kind of have a game open just to kind of show it's not just resizing the desktop, it actually is changing resolutions. It kind of happens really fast here. Try to get it zoomed in here. So as you can see, that was really quick. The, the monitor didn't even change modes. The monitor is actually quite slow, so if I kind of come over here and oops, go to the menu, you'll see it still says 3840 by 2160, and but it's actually physically running at 2560 by 1440. And if I kind of zoom in here, it's definitely doing scaling, and actually. I think I might actually prefer the, the, the display scaling over the GPU, but anyway, I can go ahead and change modes now, so I'm going to do 52, which this now should be MST mode, but the, the 
the monitor should be scaling it, but it's MST. Or, whoops, sorry, it's 53. I kind of assume that 52. So now the monitor the monitor's are actually changing modes. So that's why it kind of went off there for a little bit. Now if I check. Now it actually says 2560 by 1440. And it's in an MST mode. And like it actually seems a little bit bolder. The scaling is pretty good on this thing. I don't know if you guys can see it any better there. But anyway, now if I take my one of the ways I can kind of see it's still in MST mode right here, is I'm still getting that, that tearing down the middle. So I'm giving it basically two 1280 by uh, 1440 halves and the monitor will take this just fine. So still just letting the monitor scale still in MST mode. Now, if I go ahead and do the last one here, which is 56, I guess, or 55, sorry, a little hard to read and camcord, use the camcorder at the same time. Um, so now it's going to be SST mode, but still monitor scaling. So again, it'll turn off for a bit, 2560 by 1440 again, and then if I go to the menu, you can see that it is indeed 60 hertz. It doesn't really tell you if it's SST or MST on the menu. Kind of wish it did, but anyway, again, one of the ways I can tell that this is actually the case is now when I move this window around in the middle, I'm not getting any tearing down, down that little tiny center section. So it's now in SST mode. Anyway, it's kind of the same thing pretty much for um, 1920 by 1200. Whoops. So let me go back to 3840 by 2160 for a second here. And 52, it looks like 52 rate on 1920 by 1080 is going to get me. basically get me the GPU scaling while still outputting 3840. So let me just oops, do that real quick here. And let me uh, kind of go out a little bit here. So now it's going to be a lot bigger and it should be instant because the monitor doesn't have to change modes. And there it goes. So again, very big. And of course, it's really the display is still going to be seeing 3840 by 2160 because we're using GPU scaling here. And um, again, we'll see some tearing if I try with one of these windows. Even over the 3D app, I see tearing, but in the 3D app itself, no tearing. It's very odd. I was playing some games on here earlier just to test it out. No tearing. So again, now if I change it to 54. So now we're going to be MST 1920 by 1080 mode. And now it's video card scaling, or sorry, monitor scaling now. Definitely looks sharper to me. I, I have to say it looks a little more pixelated, which I personally prefer with less blurriness. So I actually think I like the job that the the graphics card is, or the uh, monitor is doing here better than the graphics card. And again, it says 1920 by 1080, but it's an MST mode. Hence the tearing. And one more try here, go back to SST mode. Which, by the way, it, it's all EDID. The monitor kind of can dynamically switch between the two, so it's not like you actually have to put the display in SST mode to use SST modes. Which is something I hadn't noticed anybody actually reporting about. Um, so now I'm in SST mode right now. So again, if I grab that window and then, yeah, no te no tearing down the middle. Kind of a, I guess the tearing is kind of useful because it, it actually shows, yes, I was in MST mode and now I'm not. But uh, anyway, I think the next thing I'm going to test is uh, overclocked modes. See if it'll do higher than 60 hertz. Um, see if it'll do higher than... 60 hertz at both the native 3840 by 2160 and at lower resolutions. That's it. So, kind of an interesting thing happened, trying a bit higher refresh rate. I'll probably won't try something so high, but 
getting one half of the display at the high rate, and then in the second half I'm getting this little message here, which is interesting. So I'll also be trying low resolutions, but um, that was kind of my first attempt at doing 3840x2160 at higher hertz. So uh, I was playing with overclocking, and it looks like the monitor pretty much will not output as soon as it detects that it's getting a mode over 60 hertz. So it got up to just barely over 60 hertz. I was able to overclock a little bit. Here, if I uh, play a little video file real quick here, VDPAU, it'll show me the, the refresh rate of the display, and it's running at 61.016 hertz which I would kind of expect uh, NVIDIA settings as well to be able to display that same information. Um, the default pixel clock was 270 me something megahertz. I was able to get it to about 283, I want to say. Oh, that's interesting. There's the PWM backlighting there. I'm actually seeing a... Yeah. So 61.02 again. Pretty much anything higher than that, I upped the pixel clock by from like 282 that it's at now to 283, and the monitor gets that previous error. Although, one half does display okay, so I'm probably going to try some SST modes. Um, one thing I didn't have on the video earlier that I actually did try was, um, I actually found out that it took 2560 by 1440 at like 40 hertz at single link DVI modes and stuff like that. So it does seem to take lower refresh rates, which uh, does lead me to believe that you could run this at off DP 1.1, like my MacBook, which I'm going to test this in a bit, um, which would allow you to get like probably less than 60 hertz, but over 30. So, because I I believe even on the yeah, I would think you could probably get pretty decent. Um, probably upwards, if you're running, especially if you're rolling to do 6-bit color, so 6 bits per channel. Anyway, uh, that'll come. i um, also going to just try overclocking at lower resolutions, but I have a feeling that'll be a no-go, and overclocking in SST mo with SST modes, and see if it makes any difference there. Well, unfortunately, um, I guess with DisplayPort 1.1, it will not support MST at all, so... And uh, also with my overclocking testing, the display simply rejects anything in SST that's over 30 hertz and an MST over 60. So unfortunately, no overclocking, not a huge surprise. Um, one thing I did find out though is that the display will pretty ha oops, pretty happily take uh, lower modes. So here's actually running at 1.1 bandwidth. So 480 megahertz, on, which comes out to 52 hertz. Now, if it had been, um, if 1.1 supported MST, it would be able to do this resolution at this refresh rate, but only at uh, six bits per channel, so 18 bit color. Um, again, MST mode, the tearing down the middle with the 2D. And just to show the 3D, since I, I didn't really show it, um, let me just, uh, I'm going to start up Quake here, and and I'm still running at the 17 hertz with VSync, so just to kind of show that it's not tearing in 3D games at all. Full screen games are running just fine, not getting any tearing, so if I like kind of go up into the middle here where the you can see my little dot crosshair. Trying to get it to focus. Okay. Getting no tearing down the center. It's not acting weird or anything like that. So it is doing synchronous 50 frames a second. Which also leads me to believe it'll do 48. Which I think that'll be my last test. Um, maybe I'll play some 24 FPS 4K video or something and see how the motion is when it's at 48 hertz. You know, for my final test, I went ahead and got it running at 48 hertz. And unfortunately, I don't have any four good 4K stuff that is high bit rate and 24 frames a second. So playing something that's 1080p, 
verify that it is 47.95 hertz, 22.976 video. And when playing it, unfortunately, with this video being 30 frames a second, I doubt you'd be able to tell, but it seems to be doing pretty good. Here's a pretty good scene where they pan the video, and I'm not really seeing like weird judder or anything. It seems quite smooth. Of course, that's probably not going to be conveyed on the video. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it for my testing of this morning.